Okay, for auto bed leveling, we'll need to have a sensor. We'll use a capacitive sensor because we have a glass print surface. The model of this one, as you can see, First thing we're going to do, and this will help save some time later on when we're trying to determine our X and Y offsets for the uh, sensor versus the extruder tip. Get a sheet of graph paper or any paper and what I'm going to try to do is put this, my graph paper, fortunately the tip of my um, sensor is about three squares so I'll be able to find the center easily we're just going to draw a circle around that trace a circle okay so a trace circle might happen to be about nine squares in size so I know that the center of the middle middle here that would be my center. We want to mark the center of our circle. Like so. And we're going to put this sheet aside. Make a bracket. The bracket should look roughly like this. This side sits towards the front of the printer. This side here run, runs along the extruder. This side, once it's pushed down, will prevent this from having any lateral movement. D dimensions. About 45 millimeters. Okay, that is just about 30. Whatever the distance is to the edge of the extruder carriage is what this distance needs to be so you can fold this over. Just putting this on. I still have to put this in the vise to bend that corner down. I do have a little relief in there to make folding this tab over just a little easier because it is a pretty thick piece of aluminum. Okay, so basically this will mount right there. And you want this close to the heat sink as possible. But you do want to leave room to be able to turn the, the nuts that sit on this um, sensor. I have my hole drilled, but you'll use this hole to mark a spot on the extruder carriage. It's easier if you remove your motor and don't push down too hard. Just let the drill do the work. It will take a, a, a little while to drill because you're not forcing it. Okay, so now our sensor bracket ends up looking like that a small lip I did once I bent it over there I had more than I needed so I mean you start with more than you need you can always trim the excess down because you only need it to just keep that from turning okay I have that mounted and that is on pretty tight as you can see I can move the extruder around by it and it still doesn't lose this gap when we do install it we want to install it with the wire side to the back. In general, for our application, we'll have this just about at the level of the heater block. So right about at the heater block level, you can see that, yeah, that's close. That, that'll be our starting point 